I have a slightly different style video for you this week, different to how I normally film my videos and my vlogs anyway. So basically on Monday last week I was in this beautiful full moon ceremony and the full moon was in Taurus on the Tuesday, so the night before on the Monday I went to Harriet Emily's sound bath and I've been to a few of her sound baths in London before. This one was at Harrods actually which was very special and luxurious but it was this stunning meditation that started with a cacao ceremony where you sit on raw cacao and then we pulled a card each and we chose a crystal and then we had the sound bath. I'm going to overlay a video now so you can see what I'm talking about. It was absolutely stunning. And the sound bath is where there are various crystal bowls and gongs and the sound is just stunning. I'd highly recommend you doing one if you can find one in your area. But yeah, I was in this meditation and I really wanted to set my intention on work and how I can remove this block, I suppose, that I felt around creating content. And then suddenly all of these ideas started coming to me and I felt really excited and inspired to create content again. And I actually started filming pretty much immediately. And so I had this idea to create these weekly vlogs where to like remove any pressure I suppose that I have around filming one whole day and making one whole day really exciting and content worthy. I just film little snippets throughout my week. So. On Monday, if I'd had the idea sooner, I would have just filmed snippets of that sound bath. And then, yeah, just like, it removes any pressure, I suppose, to keep things exciting all the time. And also I think it's quite unrealistic to expect to be or to feel creative all the time. I think creativity comes in waves. So for me, I was like, this makes sense. I do so many exciting things throughout the week, but not necessarily all in one day. So if I can just film those little snippets, like the special moments of my life, whether that's around health and wellness, or just those little moments that are worth capturing, and then tie it all together in one video. But instead of it being like fluid, it's gonna be me sat here having a chat, talking through my week with you, and then I'm going to overlay all of the clips from my previous week. So that's what this video is all about. So I'm just gonna tell you about my previous week and what I got up to, the things that really stood out to me and what I loved. So starting with Tuesday, because I obviously got the idea on the Monday night in my ceremony. So I only recently moved house. I'm in this house now. We moved on the 2nd of November, so yeah, by the time I filmed this, it had literally been like less than a week and already I was feeling really settled and at home, which is quite unusual, I think. Like it can normally take a while to settle into a new environment and to start nesting and feel, feel like it's home and feel like it's yours. But actually it happened very, very quickly for me in this place. Um, I'm in London. I decided to stay here a bit longer because I, I didn't know where to go, like whether to stay in Bali or to stay in London. And so yeah, I've decided to move to London with my partner, which is very, very exciting. I'm in a really like happy, giddy, excited time of my life right now where it feels like the past two years that have been one hell of a journey really and a massive roller coaster. It, it feels like everything is suddenly settling and I would say that like the last two years have almost been like you know when a river is like rapid waters and it's all a bit crazy and the water goes all murky. I feel like that's been the last two years for me but now the sediment is settling and I'm starting to see through the water and it's like this beautiful crystal clear water where I'm just feeling really grounded and happy and settled. So Tuesday morning I started with a bit of an exercise routine at home. I'm still figuring out my exercise routine in this new area um, so I haven't found a gym yet but I'm also really settling into my exercise because I actually had surgery on my wrist there's a scar for you, if you can see it here. Actually, it doesn't look too bad there, that's brilliant. Here, yeah. Um, yeah, I had surgery on my wrist, so I had to rest it for a few weeks. And now I'm just starting to get back into it. And I've been doing some wrist movement exercises to just really 
work those muscles up again because I do feel like my wrist is really weak because not only have I not been doing any exercise on this side, I also haven't been like carrying bags or anything like that. So it's had total, total rest. So I've just been easing myself into it with certain wrist movements and stretches. Like it's getting so, like that's so much better. Oh, it's it looks like a hundred percent. For me, it still feels like there's something that isn't allowing, like this side is a lot worse. Yeah, like that is so easy, but like that doesn't feel good yet at all, but it will get there. I'm trying not to be impatient with this and just letting my body heal at its own pace. So yeah, Tuesday I just started with some very easy exercises on my mat at home. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of my new home now. Welcome to our new home. I am so, so happy with it already. I think we've made it feel really, really cozy already. So as you can see, this is our dining area and then a beautiful kitchen. I love this island. I immediately feel like I want to film some recipe videos. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Have some incense burning right now just to make it smell delicious and cozy. And we've just been loving this lovely area here. And you know what? Not once have either of us even attempted to turn on the TV. We just love the chats and journaling and listening to music. So yeah, I actually think that's so lovely that we haven't felt the need at all <laughs> to turn on the TV. Um, these shelves aren't decorated yet at all. I've just kind of put our random belongings up here, but I did have some nice photos printed, which I really love. So yeah, I'm really happy that it's already beginning to feel like home. I'm feeling very French right now, with my beret. <laughs> Pretending I'm in Paris, not London. I think it's the little things in a house that can make it feel like home. Like I had loads of beautiful flowers arrive. So my mum came over and gave us a beautiful bunch of flowers, which is still kind of in the corner here dying, but the clip now is much better uh, when they were fresh and bright and young and beautiful and then we have some dried flowers that I think are actually really effective they were in the house when we moved in and I think they might be an old bouquet but they have dried so beautifully and they like just summarize autumn and winter to me I love those colors so I've kept them and then also a beautiful bunch of lilies that my boyfriend bought me and yeah, they were the first flowers that he brought me in this new house. So they feel really special and they've just transformed the place and just, yeah, the flowers I think can really brighten up uh, a space. And also I have my placemats. They're from a brand called Polkra and I love them. You may recognize these because I've brought these with me everywhere I go from my flat that I had a year, no, two years ago in Ladbroke Grove, the one with like the brick wall. And that was a beautiful little apartment. I loved living there on my own. I have such fond memories of that flat, actually. I loved that time. Even though it was a really tough time, I suppose, personally and emotionally, it was still like very much me getting my, my groove back and like feeling like I can be this strong, independent person, regardless of everything that happened, I suppose. So yeah, I have got really fond memories of that flat. It was a lot of fun. And then obviously in my Clapham house, I had, actually, I never used those placemats. There wasn't really a space for them. So yeah, felt good like bringing them back out into this new place and yeah, they look really nice, I think. And then of course, my aura light. I keep calling it Aurora light, like Princess Aurora. And I'm pretty sure it's just called Aura, like light aura. But I've got this block in my head now with it. So I'm just gonna call them Aurora lights. <laughs> I think on my Instagram post, I, I called them Aurora lights so many times and everyone was like, what's an Aurora light? Um, but I'm just gonna go with it. They have also transformed the place at nighttime. They are so beautiful and they're the cheapest things on Amazon. Like I literally just have mine in the corner and in the evening have the stars on and the beautiful pinks and greens and purple lights and it just, it reaches the other side of the room. They're really, really lovely. So yeah, that has been a total game changer and the first time I've ever had one of those. Now we're on to Wednesday and I woke up early to do my workout at home again. 
and I got an email notification saying that the John Lewis ad had just been released, you know, the Christmas ads. And I was like, okay, priorities, I need to watch this right now. So yeah, I, I watched that and immediately felt like I was in the Christmas spirit. Okay, I'm about to watch the John Lewis Christmas ad for the first time this year. I feel like I'm having to get quite creative with my workouts at home so I found my old sliders and they are so useful like if you have a wooden floor or any kind of like hard surface they're so useful or you can just wear socks you don't need to have these actual sliders um yeah and I just did some a, a little workout like literally I think I was working out for about 20 or 30 minutes but it builds up a sweat and it's a good way to start the day okay now we're getting quite bougie my week definitely got better as the days went on so Thursday morning I got up got ready and went out to Harrods and I walked there which was actually a really lovely walk and so the reason I went to Harrods on this Thursday morning was because Dior have taken over the Harrods store for the whole of Christmas and it's unbelievable. They've called it the fabulous world of Dior and they have gone all out. The whole of the outside of Harrods is decorated in Dior and the windows are just exceptional. It felt like a really special magic moment walking through those doors of Harrods and just feeling that sense of luxury and the effort that Dior have put into decorating it. And they've created all these different pop-ups throughout the store. And on that Thursday morning, it was the launch. So they invited some press to come along and be the first to experience it. I didn't have a lot of time though. I had to run quite quickly. You'll see why. The most epic day, like literally, You'll see what I mean when I say the week got better and better as the days went on. So yeah, I had a little look around. They showed me some of the pop-ups. I saw the window and then I basically ran home, grabbed my bags. I had a car pick me up, me and Jamie, to take us over to Denham, which is the aerodrome private airport just out of London. And we got a helicopter. Basically, we were invited to the Wilderness Reserve, which is stunning. I've been a few times. It's one of my favorite places. It's like a real proper escape to the English countryside. And this was to celebrate David Gandhi's well-wear duvet coat. So David, I think about two years ago now, it was definitely born out of lockdown, created his fashion brand called Wellwear, and it's all beautiful, casual homeware, super super cozy and he's just launched the duvet coat which is like this beautiful padded grey coat and it was just yeah stunning. So we got on the helicopter and there was a really great group of us. I actually hadn't met anyone on our helicopter before, I don't think. I followed like most of them on Instagram, so I knew of them, but hadn't ever met them in person. And it was such a fun way to start an event. Like suddenly, you know, everyone's really excited, but really nervous and everyone's kind of dealing with it in, a, in their own way. But it was a lot of fun. Our room is so pretty and pink. I love it. Look at how girly this is, all the colors and the prints. And then check out all of these goodies. So this is from David Gandhi's Wellwear. And the reason we're here is to launch these beautiful, cozy duvet coats. And then we've got loads of little goodies here as well. I want to get wrapped up in this immediately. And then the rest of the time at Wilderness, it just felt like we were all having so much fun. It did not feel like it was a press event or a work trip at all. Everyone got on so well. I've genuinely made so many lovely friends from that trip and we just all decided to let our hair down and laughed until our bellies hurt. And it was so lovely to take my partner with me actually and he just settled in so well, met so many lovely people. And yeah, we just laughed until we cried and just basically acted like kids. And it was a reminder really to me that 
even though it was technically a wellness event to like reset and take us out of London into the countryside, it was a reminder to me that wellness is just as much about having a bottle of wine, having great food, laughing with your mates and just acting like a kid and letting your hair down as much as like yoga and meditation is like we need to let our hair down and have fun because honestly i felt so good afterwards it was amazing although that's kind of a lie i definitely didn't feel that great on the friday the next day but yeah you'll see you'll see what i mean and then yeah so on the friday we woke up and went to the lakes at wilderness reserve and some people went swimming in this freezing cold wild lake i actually did exactly that the year before so i was at the same place for a yoga retreat in november last year and i did go swimming and i must say i felt really good so energized rejuvenated it kind of like kicks you into action but it made me sick for about a week or at least I was then sick for a week. I don't know if it was connected to the lake, but I remember blaming it on that freezing cold lake and being like cold to the bone afterwards. So I think it just like <laughs> suppressed my immune system or something. So this time I felt like I learnt my lesson and I didn't go in the lake, but I was there in my big duvet coat and um, it was really nice. I had a great breakfast set up out the back of like this Jeep. They had coffee, tea, and then on a fire, they were cooking bacon and mushrooms and making everyone burgers. There wasn't anything for me really, but I actually wasn't that hungry at that point, so that was fine. Um, but I just thought that was such a nice touch to like fully feel like you're out in the wilderness, having a wild lake swim, bacon on over the fire, and just all getting stuck in. Um, oh, I did have a great coffee though, yeah. I was like watching Jamie swimming in the lake while I just had this hot coffee and I was like, mm, this is heaven. <laughs> I just caught a glimpse of myself in that screen. I look so grumpy and I am really grumpy to be honest. What day are we on? Friday. I'm so hungover and I didn't realise that when I'm hungover I get really grumpy, or at least I am today. I am just... <laughs> that screen just now <laughs> sums up my mood, um, but it's actually lightened me up straight away. Um, need to always laugh at ourselves, guys, and recognise when we're in a bad mood. Um, oh my god, last night was hilarious had so much fun david got together just the best group so much fun the best company we just enjoyed a bottle of wine had the chats sat by the fire threw some axes and went swimming all got in the hot tub um dangerous by the way drinking in a hot tub or a sauna you're like sweating it out you're so dehydrated and then you're like yeah just hydrating yourself with more wine. Not the best idea. Or maybe it was, I don't know, undecided. But feeling a little worse for wear today. Um, it was so funny actually being in the helicopter yesterday and everyone is so excited, the energy's really high, everyone's buzzing. And then the way home, everyone is literally there like hoods up, just like, don't even look at me. <laughs> um, we got back at around one o'clock and we've both just been catching up on work to be honest so yeah not much has happened today but we're about to go out get all the snacks from Whole Foods I wonder what kind of snacks we'll pick up from Whole Foods though it's probably not a good idea um just because they're gonna be like um dehydrated mushrooms or something I don't know um and then come back, watch a movie, maybe watch The Crown. I think that's out now on Netflix. And then have a really early night. I might be feeling awful today, but felt very happy yesterday, so <laughs> maybe it's all worth it. But yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say as well, this isn't all about being perfect and being super prim and proper. It's about just doing what's good for you. And sometimes what's good for you is having a wine, having some chocolate, having a slice of cake, 
and that's going to make you feel a million times better than having a salad and doing yoga sometimes it's about figuring out what works for you right and it's all about hashtag balance We've heard it again and again, but I think there's something in it. Saturday morning, I went to Bodyism and Exhale is a Pilates studio. They have just collaborated with Bodyism. So they invited me down to do this class. Um, oh no, it wasn't a class. It was a one-on-one -on -one with Gabby, who is amazing. We gelled so, so much. She is such a lovely woman. And we had the chats and afterwards i i don't know why but i just i knew that she was a gemini i am a gemini and little things that she was saying i was like she's definitely she's definitely gemini and then it turns out she is so yeah we bonded over that i've really enjoyed that one-on-one -on -one private pilates class you definitely get so much more out of those kinds of um sessions over a group class just because it was so specific to your form and making sure that you're doing things in the right way. Also with my wrist injury, that was the first time that I've actually done a proper like workout. I've been doing little things at home obviously, but like, yeah, she really focused on this and made me feel really relaxed and, well not that relaxed, it was actually really tough as well. Like, you know when your whole body starts shaking? Pilates is so good at that, it works like certain muscles in your body that are normally so hard to target. So yeah, really, really enjoyed that session with Gabby. And then I had this lovely walk through Notting Hill, the sun was shining, I walked through Hyde Park, and then as I was like taking this clip, some guy like literally rode his bike into my, like in front of me and was just like, hi, can you do that for me too? And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I ended up being this guy's like cameraman and then got home. I think I had a super chilled afternoon. And then that evening, my friend Joe had a birthday party, but it was a surprise for all of us. So she organized something and didn't tell us what we were doing. She was just like, come to my house at seven and then you'll see what we're doing from there. So I just I did my makeup not knowing where I was going. Also, this light is really bad, so I feel like you can't really see what I'm up to, but I'm using the Glossier Liquid Bronzer here, and I love that you can be so precise with that sponge, so I basically just like drew it straight on my face and then used my fingers to rub it in. So I love that kind of makeup where you can get quite messy. And then the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Love this, just for setting that in place because my skin can get a little bit um, oily. You can see it right now, actually. You can see it. <laughs> I get a little bit shiny sometimes, so I need that Laura Mercier powder right now. Then the Vive highlighter. Oh my God, I am obsessed with this. I have been using this for the last few months and it's so beautiful at giving that natural glow and shimmer. I just tap it um, on my cheekbones and then a little bit just on the inner corner of the eye and that just makes you look so awake and glowy. Then I used the new Rose Ink eyeshadow palettes. This one is really beautiful because the one on the left that you can see like the white shimmer is this stunning glitter. It just gives this beautiful festive glittery shimmery vibe that I'm loving at the moment. Then I used the Hourglass Black Eyeliner the, these pens, these like eyeliner pens are so brilliant. I've got them in like the gold, the brown, even a green. Uh, tonight I went for black and I just line my upper eyelash line and then add a bit of a flick. And you can be quite messy with these pencils because then I just get a brush and I smudge it all up. Then my absolute favorite mascara, it's the Bare Minerals Strength and Length. It's so good. I think this is probably the fourth one I'm on now. I just can't get enough of it. I have tried other mascaras in between and then I'm just like, why am I even bothering? Like the Bare Minerals one is so good and for me, it works. I do curl my eyelashes first and then I use that and it actually has a serum in there that helps lengthen your lashes. So yeah, it's amazing. You've got to use it. I'm also loving singing along to Nora Jones here. Great song, don't know why. And then for brows, I'm using, again, the Hourglass um, Precision Eyebrow 
pencil. It's a really, really tiny pencil and I, I love that. And what was so lovely, I turned up at my friend Jo's house and she had a whole rail of pyjamas already lined up for all of us with our star sign embroidered on them, which is so thoughtful. And she was like, surprise, we're having a slumber party. And I loved that, it was such a good idea. So we all genuinely thought we were going to hers to have a few drinks and then going out. And yeah, we all just changed into pyjamas. She ordered in pizzas and we just had the most fun night we pay, played like pub quizzes and stuff like that and yeah oh and there was also a tarot reader so she brought in a tarot reader and we all took turns um going up there and then yeah her cat is hilarious eric he is definitely the boss and then on sunday we had a super chilled lazy morning as sunday should be and we were strolling around that afternoon and then we suddenly remembered that I had actually booked us tickets to this event thing called Dopamine World or Dopamine Land, something like that. And I'd seen it or read about it and it's meant to be this like immersive um, walk through exhibition to give you a hit of dopamine, to make you feel super, super happy. And I just thought it sounded hilarious. So we only remembered like literally last minute we were like oh we've got those tickets so we went to that didn't really know what to expect and i would say it's really really fun the beginning part was like we kind of felt like you're meant to be there with kids i don't know if it was just because it was a sunday but there were loads and loads of little kids and we were a bit like um it's just the two of us like <laughs> is this okay um but it was fun wouldn't say it absolutely blew our minds the first part but then the second half was really really fun we basically found we went and did our own thing you're meant to like follow the group and like go to each room in a particular order but we kind of like went off and went to the room separately and so it meant that we had the rooms to ourselves and we found one that was a pillow fight room and it was so much fun like we literally went mad in there and acted like kids and we're just yeah definitely got a dopamine hit from that room. And then later when I was at home, I got this lovely notification on my phone from an app called CoStar. And it said, a worthwhile relationship isn't made up of two halves, but two holes. And I just thought that was really lovely and I really resonated with it. And that's my week. I hope you've enjoyed this style of video. Like I said, I think it makes sense for me to film these little snippets that stand out to me throughout my week rather than just filming aimlessly just for the sake of filming one whole day so let me know what you think of this format and if you enjoyed it i had a really lovely fun week and honestly i feel i'm in this this space at the moment of feeling an immense amount of gratitude and i feel so fortunate and lucky and happy to be living this life that i am at the moment where it just feels so full of love and so full of happiness and I'm feeling so much lighter. I hope it's coming across. A lot of people have sent me lovely messages on Instagram recently just saying it's so lovely to see how happy you are, like it, you can really feel it through the camera. So that means everything and I really hope it's true and that you can feel it. So spreading a little bit of happiness your way wherever you are in the world and sending so much love and light as always.